What's going on guys, it's King Tuts Pro and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Now my uploading schedule will be a little bit different because usually it's Monday, Wednesday and Friday but you know of course there wasn't a video yesterday because I was really busy and I couldn't I didn't have enough time to upload a video. So next week is when I go back to school, next Monday to be specific and it's it's not you know it's not always fun going back to school we know that but I will try my best to uh, make videos and post them so you guys have you know something to watch because you guys do enjoy my videos so that's what I try to do. Um, but right now I'm actually looking for a intro because I have not found any intros that I liked on YouTube such as like a template. Um, so I'm wondering if you guys can make me a, a template and of course I will pay you or if you just want to shout out on my channel or if you want to win. I'll, I'll showcase your, your YouTube channel on my channel. So yeah, um, if you guys want to uh, make me an intro, that'd be awesome. I just want something really minimal and simple. Uh, I don't want a lot of you know shapes, and I want it to be too deep, but not a lot of shapes and 3D and all that stuff. I just want it to be minimal. So I'm a simplistic guy. So let's go. On, let's get on with the tutorial. So first, using guides is really easy. It just you know you have to get used to it. But what the guides do is they help you align text, images, and it kind of organizes everything in your document. So you go over to view, you can go down to the guides right here. Now I don't have any guides right now, but you can create a new guide by clicking this right here. When you click new guide, you will see orientation. This will allow you to change if you want the guide uh, to appear vertically or horizontally. I like to have mine vertically and horizontally depending on what you're going to be using. So in this case, I want uh, a guide going down through each one of these lines so it helps me align images and text so uh, I'm gonna just do it horizontally and vertically so the position here is it gives you like inches so I'm gonna go ahead and sh uh, show you the rulers so if you press command R on your Mac or control R on on a Windows PC I believe um, you will be brought up with the rulers right here and depending on the size of your document this will change so mine is I think think uh, let's see image uh, what is it image size yes it's 2560 by 1439 because I upscaled it a little bit um, but if you were to upload this to YouTube like a YouTube channel this will be really helpful in a way but uh, yeah so if you bring up the rulers this will allow you to uh, to bring up some uh, the rulers right here so let me go ahead and uh, change this a little bit like this so I can have more room here all right, so here is our document, and you can either click and drag the outside right here on your left ruler. Click and drag, and this will create a new uh, a new guide to your document. So if you let go, it's going to be like this. It's going to be blue, and you can also rearrange wherever you want it. So in case you don't want like if you don't like it right here going through the S, you can easily just click and drag and drag it to right um, to the outside of the S. You can also hold down Shift, and this will kind of um, it will like uh, snap to a, to an edge pretty much so if I want it to be here I can just hold shift and it will perfectly align it to uh, this right here now you can create a custom uh, guide if you go over to view and go to new guide like I showed you previously so the position I want it vertically so if I want uh, a, a perfectly centered a uh, guide I would just select 50 and then I would select percent so 50% going through the middle vertically I'd click OK and there it is so if I want to do the same thing horizontally, I would just go over to View, New Guide, and instead of um, instead of changing it to vertical, to vertical, I would just select horizontal. So now it's going horizontally. So I click OK, and there it is. It's it's more it's more better than dragging like this because you don't know where exactly where the middle will be. So that's why I prefer that method if you're trying to uh, align stuff uh, into your document. So that's much better than just clicking and dragging. But if you just want to click and drag, uh, it works better with um, places you don't know the position. So you can just click and drag, click and drag, like say right here, hold down shift. Sometimes if you hold it wrong, it'll just kind of go on the outside. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see that. So you can see that it's not snapping perfectly. So this sometimes happen. You can just rearrange it. You don't have to hold down shift. You can do the same thing by clicking and dragging to add another guide. You can also hold down shift to do uh, that. It will just snap to the um, to the edge. So do that again right here. Okay, again, this will be dip different depending on what image you're using. So yeah, it's always different. So we'll go hold down shift. 
but the concept is the same thing. You know, you can just click and drag right here, right here as well. I can also add another guide to the same part like this. Now, if you want it to do horizontally, you can just do the same thing. You can just drag and uh, drop a new guide by clicking and dragging from the top right here. And you can hold down shift to have it perfectly, uh, to have it uh, snap to the top right here. You can do it again like this. This helps me so far, it, it speeds up the process pretty much. So that's that's helpful. So if you don't, if it doesn't come out like the way you want it to be, so you can see it's off, you can just uh, click and drag and don't double click it. <laughs> um, if you double click the guide, it actually gives you more more options. You can see it opens up the preferences in the, in the what is it, the uh, preferences uh, file here. And if you can go over to guides, it's pretty much the same thing. You can change the color. So if you don't like this color, the cyan, uh, you can easily change it to like choose magenta or I don't know, like yellow. You could go over to medium blue. Maybe you want like a red. A red looks pretty sweet to be honest. I'm going to leave it at red. Style, you can have lines or dashed lines. So if you want it to be, if you don't want your image to be or the guides to go in the way of the image, you can use dashed lines, which is really helpful. Um, so I'm going to go with lines, the smart guides, smart guides are a little bit different. I will make that in another video because I don't want this video to be too long because I know you guys, I don't know how long you guys watch my videos. If you guys uh, comment, I want to see how long you have been watching this video so I can know how long, uh, I can estimate how long each video could be. So you can change this uh, yellow, I don't know, magenta and pretty much the smart guides are if you add a new guide or whatever, and you can see like a, like a new guide. But it's not the same as a regular guide. It's a smart guide, so it automatically uh, finds you like a. It kind of does the same thing, but it's a little bit different. I kind of have to explain it in a different video. The grid, you can change this. I'm not gonna go into detail uh, in this video, but slices. Again, I'm not gonna go over that. But over the guides, you can change the color if you like to, and change the style dash to dash lines, which is really cool. But I like it lines. I'm gonna click OK, and there you go. So this is pretty much a. Uh, a rundown on how to use the guides and uh, you could also choose a specific point right here but um, that is pretty much how to use the guides also another tip if you go over to view you can also hide the guides by going over to show and guides or command semicolon on a Mac or control semicolon and that will hide the guides but it won't clear them so it won't get rid of them if you want to get rid of the guides it's pretty much uh, really easy you just go to view you go down to clear guides and that will remove it. You can also lock the guides so that way you don't, um, that way you can't move it or anything. See, I'm only moving the document. So if I want to unlock it, I'm going to just go over to, I'm just click lock guides and now I can move it. So you can see that you can see the two arrows. That means you can uh, freely move the guide. And yeah, pretty much that sums up uh, the guides. So if this helps you in any way, please leave a rating below. That will be much appreciated. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, and comment if you want and subscribe because I do post videos like this every day. Not every day, but every other day. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace.